Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video will be dedicated to the specifications of the landing page project, the second project in the nano degree and by far the easiest. Your submission will be evaluated based on three different sections the interface and architecture of your project, the behavior of your project, and finally, the documentation. The first specification in this section clearly states that your project should have the following structure. In your root directory, you should have the readme file, the index file, and another two folders, your CSS folder and your JavaScript folder. Of course, if you have images in your project, you should also add another folder dedicated for images. The second specification in this section clearly states that all your features should be usable across all view ports. This means that your project should be mobile friendly and responsive. The second specification clearly states that you should add styling to the active state of your project. And finally, you should have at least four sections in the page. The starter code will have only three sections, so, so this specification means that you should add at least another section. The first specification in the landing page behavior section clearly states that your navigation should be built dynamically as an ordered list. This basically means that your navigation should be built using JavaScript and as an ordered list. The second specification clearly states that it should be clear which section is being viewed while scrolling through the page. This basically means that whatever section is viewed in the viewport should have the active class added to it. And the last specification in this section clearly states that when clicking an item from the navigation menu, the link should scroll to the appropriate section. This is basically the scrolling effect. So this last specification we'll see implemented in the course in the second video. But this basically means that your project should have the correct um, scrolling effect. The first specification in the document in the documentation section clearly states that you readme should have a non-default and project specific text. So this basically means that you should have detail detailed text into your project into your readme and this text this non-default text this basically means that in the starter code you will have text added into your readme and you can't submit your project using this text. You should have another text that you added into your readme. The second specification clearly states that you should add comment, comments effectively in your project. So you can't have um, like two lines of comments, for example. You should have effective comments added in your project. And finally, the last specification clearly states that your project should be consistently and logically formatted. Also, that you should have at least one global variable added to your project. Of course, we will, we are going to have more than one global variable, but this, this will be implemented in the second video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or anything you don't understand, please comment down below and I will answer you.